So you can hear the sound of cutting coils in the background while I uh, cut all the steel. Probably should use another pants. draw up another one of course it's just not enough that's the way it is of course <laughs> well last time I have metal where you can clearly see where the magnets have to go in this case because it's a perforated sheet I don't have a clue where they have to go and they have to line up with the coil so I'm gonna make a jig to put down the magnets because otherwise it's gonna take take me years to find out now I'm gonna use a one millimeter cutter really really thin and the reason is I want the magnets as close to one another, uh, one another in this direction. Uh, using a bigger bit to make a square or a um, 90 degree turn, you have to use overcut, which will force the bit inside the corner to make something that is uh, square fit in that hole, like a magnet. I cannot use that because then uh, these they call it overcut. These overcuts will uh, touch each other and then you actually have no barrier anymore in between. Okay, this heart, you will see if it's done. Oh, it is a bit dusty still. I thought it would be okay, but pretty nice with such a small bit. Now the question is, will my magnets fit? I mean, Oh, whoopsie. I mean, that's the point of all of this. So, the idea will be, well, something like this. Is this too long? Hmm. Let's first check if your magnet fits, because that's the most important thing. Yeah, so that's perfect. Then I'll lift this up. Oh, it's a snug fit. But it fits. Oop. So the idea would be, it's not the correct frame, but... Um, so I cut the metal so it fits in between the screws, like this. It's not a lot of overlap, I must say. Uh, that's because this is not the original frame. The the new frame I have to make will be a little bit more more flesh on here. But anyhow, then if this will sit on here, then this should be able to fit in here, which in this version it does not. In the other version, this piece will be wider, and this will uh, line up, and then I can put magnets in, and etc. etc. So I think uh, I'm fine. So that's one tool made. Uh, I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna put some 3M glue on here as well when I'm gonna assemble it. And since I did not glue my magnets down in the previous version, which probably everyone, everyone uh, thought that would be a dumb idea, <clears throat> now it helps me because I can reclaim them without them being dirty and gluey and fucked up.
So yeah. I knew I would fuck up. So that's, I think, it for today. I'll do the rest maybe tomorrow. Um, while I was cutting the metal, I also uh, made, I didn't do dishes for like fucking a week. So it's, <laughs> that's a bit of a mess. I don't want to show this, let's pan down. It's just a empty thing. I made the new foils with um, kit, normal kitchen foil, so the most basic foil you can get. And it weighs... Hmm, it's not tripping. Okay, around two grams. Pretty good. Might even be too light. The heaviest foil was almost five grams. <laughs> uh, the thinnest foil was 1.6 grams, which hardly could hold any corrugation, and this holds corrugation decently. So yeah, that's it for today. Tomorrow I make the frames. Yeah, I'm probably gonna assemble everything and see if it works. If it doesn't work. I really run out of time and uh, I might have to rethink what I'll take with me. See ya! So, since um, I'm gonna redo them anyways, uh, I'll add some Fliesaline, which is a very thin, non-woven whatever it is. Uh, it's, it's nice for damping. So, I used a template for the magnets, because that's kind of the size that uh, this kind of stuff will fit. And I'll use a rotary cutter and hopefully it will cut it in one go. Probably not. Hmm. I have to do this from the other side, that's annoying. So this will fit on the mag. Oh, there's a. Well, I'm gonna use it anyways. So this will be on top of the magnets, and um, this is really thin and will not damp away the highs completely. Now with damping, you could like, and maybe I I still will do this. Uh, add like thicker stuff on the outside of the metal, but. The closer you get the damping, whatever you use, to the foil, the better it works. So you might, or you might, you, you can get away with thinner stuff. That's the idea, or that's the idea, that's what's happening. So everyone that owns a and g for instance, Neo 10 or, or, or 3 or 8, it all has this kind of stuff. I'm not sure if it's exactly this, but this is fleece line. Um, you can buy it for sewing, so it's usually on the inside of a jacket or on the bottom of a couch. That kind of stuff. And on the bottom of a couch, I mean it, it it, so you won't be seeing the uh, springs. Now I'll make it slightly larger than this jig is. And the reason is it's on top of the magnets <coughs> and it would be nice if it <coughs> can be folded on the metal as well. So I might be cutting one extra. But yeah, that's 
four. I'll do five. So this stuff costs nothing. Well, of course it costs uh, something, but it's not very expensive. And it's very useful. Especially in tiny tweeters, etc. This goes uh, back in my bin of filth, etc. thingies.